On the 21st of August, there was a solar eclipse over the United States. A solar eclipse happens when the moon is between the sun and the earth, creating a shadow on the surface of the earth. This is from the NASA website showing the eclipse shadow going across the US. The shadow on the earth was only 115 kilometers wide and it went from Lincoln Beach, Oregon to Charleston, South Carolina. That is a distance of 4,001 kilometers. It started 1605 GMT on the west coast and ended 2009 GMT lasting 4 hours and 4 minutes. If we divide 4,001 kilometers by 4.1 hours, we see that the speed at which the eclipse shadow moves across the Earth's surface is 976 kilometers per hour. According to the heliocentric model, the Moon goes in an elliptical orbit around the Earth in 29.5 days. The Moon's diameter is 3,474 kilometers. The Earth's diameter is 12,742 kilometers, giving us a circumference of 40,030 kilometers. The radius is half of that at 6,371 kilometers. We've been told that the Earth rotates east one time every 24 hours. This gives us a rotation speed at the equator of 1668 kilometers per hour. Since the moon's orbit is supposed to be elliptical, its distance to the earth varies throughout the year. The average distance from the moon to the earth's surface is given as 384,400 kilometers. If we add the radius of the earth, we get a distance of 390,771 kilometers from the moon to the earth's center which is the radius of the orbital path of the Moon around the Earth. Using the formula for circumference, 2 times radius times pi, we find that the Moon travels 2,455,287 kilometers every 29.5 days around the Earth. That gives us a speed of 3,468 kilometers per hour. This is what NASA claims to be real images from 1 million miles away of the moon passing the Earth. What we see is supposed to be the dark side of the moon. The moon can only create a shadow on the Earth when it's in between the Earth and the Sun. The diameter of the Earth divided by the speed of the moon is the time the moon uses to pass the Earth and is the only time it can cast a shadow on the Earth. That gives us a moon pass time of 3.7 hours. That corresponds to half of the Earth's surface, which is half of its circumference, which gives us an Earth's surface shadow speed of 5,409 km per hour using NASA's numbers. This is how the Sun is supposed to create the shadow, which is given as 115 km wide where the light from the top of the sun comes in at an angle. In reality, of course, the sunlight must come in parallel like here, creating a shadow on the Earth. You would think that the moon would be creating a very large shadow on the Earth every month, but that doesn't happen. The shadow is very small and happens only when there is an eclipse. The eclipse shadow moved west to east why do eclipse tracks move eastward even though the Earth rotates from west to east? This is what NASA says. Because the Moon moves to the east in its orbit at about 3,400 km per hour, Earth rotates to the east at 1,670,000 km per hour at the equator. So the lunar shadow moves to the east at 3,400 minus 1,670 equals 1,730 kilometers per hour near the equator. You cannot keep up with the shadow of the eclipse unless you traveled at Mach 1.5.
Even though the moon orbits the Earth 29.5 times slower than the Earth spins around its own axis, NASA claims that it doesn't matter because the moon is traveling faster across the width of the Earth than the Earth's surface moving due to its spin. Let's go with it and assume that NASA is correct on this one. Mach 1 1.5 is 1838 kilometers per hour. We found the Earth's surface shadow speed to be 5409 kilometers per hour. Why is there such a discrepancy? The moon going west to east above the Earth would cause the shadow to move from west to east but the spin of the Earth would cause the shadow to go in the opposite direction, east to west. We know that the Earth spins at about 1670 km per hour at the equator. How do we find the rotation speed of the Earth's surface below the eclipse shadow? The rotation speed is simply the equator rotation speed times cosine of the latitude in degrees. The eclipse entered at 45 degrees latitude and exited at 33 degrees latitude, which gives us an average of 39 degrees latitude. Cosine 39 times 1670 is 1298 kilometers per hour. That gives us a real moon shadow speed across the Earth's surface of 5,409 minus 1,298 equal to 4,111 km per hour. NASA claimed that the speed should be Mach 1.5 or 1,838 km per hour, which is a deviation of 2,273 km per hour, thus proving that NASA's numbers are not correct. We know the actual speed of the eclipse shadow, which was calculated to be 976 km per hour including Earth rotation speed. This has been measured and proves that the moon cannot be traveling at the speed and or distance that NASA claims, or that the object causing the eclipse was not the moon but another celestial body.